eight colors on my shirt. Probably how many more. colors are on your shirt, <laughs> listener? <laughs> Hello. We're doing this. Hey, it's a whole new pod. A uh, podcast uh, all about Disney, Disney Channel, Channel original movies. I thought you were just taking it over. I could. I'm your Jacob Telejohn. Well, I, he, it's like he's peeking <laughs> around like I read like a script or something. You're a, a Lucas... I'm Lucas Melby. Melby. And we are entering a new chapter in a whole new pod in our lives. In our lives. After 100, the big 100. Yes, we're in the hundreds of episodes. Or, yeah, the hundreds of episodes yeah. and movies. 101 Dalmatians. We're in the year 2016, which... If you're an American listener, it's a pivotal year, maybe, oh, it's, it, for certain people, or for all people, really. And Jacob and I just celebrated our 30th birthdays. We're big boys now. Probably talked about it on the show before, but Jacob's birthday is May 1st, my birthday is May 2nd, so we always remember each other's birthdays, and yeah. none of our other <laughs> friends do. So Dustin texted me. I, I, yeah, likewise. And Dustin's wife wished me a happy birthday on Facebook, and I took my birthday off of Facebook. Wow. Because we used to, or I used to only get like birthday wishes. Mark Torello. Yeah. So <laughs> there's two people that like. Jo- bros? Yeah. That wish people a happy birthday every single year. And it's one was our local weatherman, Mark Torello, who Luke, now isn't New even York. in Minnesota. He's moved to like New yeah, York. Yeah. I didn't something. get a Torello uh, birthday uh, this year. And then also our, for me, it was my seventh grade geography teacher. He would wish Mr. me Bros. happy birthday. He wasn't even my teacher. <laughs> So everybody was friends with these people. <laughs> yeah. Everybody would, and they wish everybody a happy birthday. And there'd be some years where, like, I would only have like five to ten, <laughs> and it'd be like two of them are Mark Torello, and Mr. Bros. And I'm just like, I don't. And you know what? I think especially after thirty birthdays, it's like you know what? Just a day. Wow. I don't, I can't speak for Jacob myself. I mean, I did something with my parents uh, the weekend before, the Sunday before. But my birthday was on a Tuesday, so you know what I did? I went to work. And my birthday was on a Monday. <laughs> And yeah, I we, we kind of did some stuff the the weekend. I went to a baseball game and went to a casino with my parents. So we just kind of did some just stuff. Some real good Telejohn fans. Hundred dollar profit, right bro. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Uh, do you feel different being thirty? I don't know. I mean, not not really. I you know what I feel? I feel it's fucked up. Fucked up. It should not be allowed for me to be thirty years. Yeah, old. I mean, I don't. It, it is. It is kind of like a whoa, thirty. I, I mean, like I think forty will feel weird, but maybe it's not. It's more of a mental, emotional, we're psychological not, yeah. toll. We've left our teens. We've left our twenties. Yeah, we're thirty years old, and we're still fucking talking about Disney Channel original movies. Yeah, and we have nothing left. Very to, happy with know. the life choices that have brought us this far. You can't complain, right? And we're gonna we're gonna see it all the way through. But by the we time we're 31, to. we'll be covering the Tall Girl series. Oh, golly. <laughs> Is it episodes? Uh, I mean, I think I've calculated it out unless, like, they release, like, three Disney Channel original movies. I think even if they release one and we stay consistent, we'll finish them this, this year. year. For a nice Christmas present for all of us. Ooh. With that being said, we're going to hopefully just get into the episode here. Make it light and breezy, maybe a little loose, because... We had a pretty full featured episode last week or last time. Yeah, we, we it wasn't bro- even that broke, long. We, we broke yeah. hour mark though. What was it, hour fifteen? I yeah, something one. like that. It started out. I, I edited like five minutes out, but we usually and like today we've recorded on a Friday, so it gives me more time over the weekend to edit. Last time yeah. we recorded on a Saturday, and that turned out very bad for me because I think it's I might have been actually sick, but I think it was Uh-oh. mostly. So I bought a case of 15 Monster oh, no. Juice energy drinks that were mango ones, which I had had before and I thought were fine. But now I think they make me sick. because, well, And idea. some of it was just me being irresponsible. But Saturday, essentially whenever we record this, Friday, Saturday, it doesn't matter. It's going to be at least probably like three hours-ish, you know, driving time, watching the movie, recording, set up, whatever. We're looking at at least a three-hour commitment. And I don't know about yeah. you, but I get hungry. And no matter yeah. when we do it, if we do it Friday evening, we do it Saturday morning into early afternoon, yeah. there's kind of crossing over a time when I want to be eaten. So I didn't eat very good. I mostly ate junk the last time I recorded with that monster. When did you eat today? Today I would work from home. So, you know, okay. I could kind of graze all day. Graze. Uh, and, I, you know, I eat when we record. But I think it was just like I ate a, like Cheez-Its and fucking Monster and Cliff oh, yeah. Bars and beef jerky or whatever. A little, little so I was rough. already feeling bad, like, 
some of in the recording. So if like I don't know, that's my excuse. If, if last episode was a little weird. Nobody's but driving blame you home. You it was remind me of one other time when I hung out with you and I got sick. Uh oh. Uh, but like. I don't, you probably didn't pick up because Jacob doesn't listen or pay attention to me most of the time. Anyways, <laughs> like currently he's just checked out. But there's probably like a point in me driving you home where like I just stopped talking because <laughs> I just had to like focus because I felt like you're gonna like I needed to either like go like... and pick up a sandwich to eat because oh. I just my stomach felt so fucked up. But then it yeah. quickly turned to be like, nope, I think I might need to like throw up. I was just like focusing, you know, sweat and be like, oh, I just got to get did, home. Did you end up vomiting at all? That, no, I that didn't. Track? I really okay. kept it together, but I really felt like I could have. Yeah. But meanwhile, as I was struggling with this on Saturday and then Sunday, I just felt crappy. I just had to edit the, one of the longer episodes we've had <laughs> in a good amount of time. So that's why I'm motivated to maybe keep this one a little lighter as a little a little treat for yourself. Your Lucas can have a little treat every once in a Lucas. while. Lucas deserves a little more than a, a treat every once in a while, I think. You can say that. I I agree with you, but you know I can't say that myself. You're you're a good man, Charlie Melody. So our movie today, 2016, came out in October 2016. Apparently, within I guess Disney Channel, maybe every year does something called a Monstober event. Uh, so this was released as like the new decom for October, but it's oh. not a Halloween movie at all. No, it's, I mean it's it's freaky. It's maybe ex- existentially scary for some people. Yeah. So, the last decom before the 2016 presidential election. Who knows what happens after that? Oh, boy. We'll get Tiger Cruise 2. Oh, no. I don't know if I said the title. It's called The Swap. And yeah. I feel like, even having seen this movie, this movie doesn't exist. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Yeah. I... And looking at the cover, it's just like, okay, sure. Felt very much like frenemies of like, this movie doesn't exist. Nobody, nobody talks about this movie. Nobody no. knows this movie. And it's even like... Disney Channel kind of overwrote the impact of this movie because, as Jacob was just saying, it's freaky. It's a Freaky Friday movie. It's a body swap movie. It basically gets redone in a few they years. They do a Freaky Friday remake. I think even it's a musical in 2018. Okay. Yeah. So they, they're they like, hey, maybe this was fun. And like, uh, maybe they were inspired by Your Name, which I think came out in 2016. So this, you know, the oh. great anime movie, Your Name, yeah, okay. directed by Makoto Shinkai. So this movie was not inspired by that, I don't think, unless they had a really quick turnaround on it, which they could in a Disney Channel movie. It's based on a book, apparently. Yeah. Our main characters are going to be Jack Malloy, who is played by Jacob Bertrand, who I don't know why I chose. When I have more time, maybe I do some research. So he is from the Disney XD show. So Disney XD I believe historically was used to be Toon Disney. I, I've I've heard of Disney XD, but I, I don't I don't think at some point it. it became Disney XD, and then they started having live action shows on there along with cartoons. He was on a show called Kirby Buckets, which which is like a play on Kirby Pocket. I don't think the so. Baseball player, because uh, it's about a kid who wants to be an animator, and oh. like some of his like cartoons like get represented in the show. So I just saw like a trailer for it. I'm like, oh, that seems kind of like a neat idea. I don't know why I chose to actually look up some of these shows because it's like Ant Farm. I don't know what that's about. And I never will know what that's about. Austin yeah. and Allie. I, I've I, heard I think of that. I did look up what that one was about. I've heard and of that. then our body swap, the girl he'll swap with, because it's also a gender swap, is Ellie O'Brien, who's played by Peyton List, who was in Jesse, though she was not the titular Jesse. That was Debbie Ryan. But she was also in the Jesse spinoff called Bunked. Which had 136 episodes. Dang. That's crazy, because that's even more than Jesse. He's like a, a main role in Cobra Kai, I guess. Well, and so is Peyton List. Oh. They're both in Cobra Kai, and apparently, as I've been Googling around, they're also in a current relationship right now. Oh, uh, w- weird. Interesting. And you'll enjoy this, Jacob, is that Peyton List is also some role in Hubie Halloween. Oh, what the heck? So everybody within these this <laughs> this era, maybe, of... That Disney is, Channel original movies is just getting plucked into, put into Hubie Halloween. <laughs> so that funny. kind of, yeah, it's just some basic, if you know these people. I've never watched Cobra Kai. We, we make books of it at, at work. I mean, I've, I've heard of it. I mean, it's a pretty popular show, I think. <laughs> I, I love when Jacob's work gets in like a little bit. It'll just be like, yeah, I make books of Cobra Kai. All right. Yes, moving on. <laughs> uh, and this movie, 
sometimes we press play and then like you know we'll still be like talking over the start of the movie pressing play like i actually paused it at first because like <laughs> it's just in the action right away yeah uh because we're immediately into montages establishing our characters establishing Ellie, that it's friday right well, not, yet. not yet this might this part might actually be on thursday actually oh, okay ellie peyton list yeah. is a rhythmic gymnastics performer the with school like the, has like a lot the, of the clubs. ribbons and stuff. And I just thought it was called ribbon dancing. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. we got to get technical. My, my ignorance was showing. Yeah. And Jack is playing hockey, which is a more traditional sport, but maybe still a little niche, though. This is the third decom with some amount of hockey playing in it. I think we had Genius, Go Figure, and yeah. now this. Maybe there's yet another one I'm forgetting, but that's a decent amount of representation. I would say so. And this movie is not getting off to a great start because this montage is set to Me Too by Megan Trainer. Yeah. Who, especially recently. I has mean, that it, song it, it, where she's like, I'm your mother, mother. <laughs> it's a bad song. It's, the song was a song we both recognized. So it, was, it was a very well, I, recognizable I just, song. Us being in 2016, because like, I don't know, especially once we hit 2020, like so many of like the last few years have just flown by. But yeah. to be like, oh, wait, this sounds like Megan Trainer, but she can't be in a Disney Channel <laughs> movie. But it's like, no, nope, we're catching up in time. My the only thing I like about Megan Trainer, I don't like the song. I'm all about that bass. But in my last oh, year yeah. of college, I had it set up where like I had already done most of my required classes. So I guess yeah. my last semester, I just took a, like a lot of easy introductory classes. Yeah. So I took one for introductory introduction to like Western music or something. Yeah. And I can't I think it might have been one of Beethoven's symphonies. The professor's like, Oh, I call this portion the spooky bass portion and I just turned to this freshman or sophomore who I like, you know, had befriended slightly in the class and I just said, I'm all about that spooky bass. Oh, <laughs> and no. he's just like, Shut up. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. That that's like out to me. Great joke, right? Okay. Uh great movie. This is not. It's uh, so funny. But Jack I'm going to be painting in kind of broad strokes because it's like they body swap. We have the establishment of their different conflicts and it's, you know, pretty classic. They got these conflicts. The person swapping will help them solve the conflict while dealing with some of their own. So yeah. they both got parent issues, but different kinds of parent issues. One has mommy issues. Well, as in their so, mother's dead. Yeah. They and both only have single daddy, parents. Yes. One is... That Jack's mom is dead, whereas Ellie's Died dad about a year ago. is a deadbeat bad dad yes. who has walked out on her and her mom. And must have must have a new family. With Felicia. We, yeah. I think oh, we hear golly. Felicia dropped, or maybe it was Felicity or something, dropped one yeah. time. And Jack's dad is the coach of the hockey team. and He's it, kind of an ass. He's like uh, Troy Bolton's dad yeah. times Just like 10. All, all about sports. Sports, 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 sports. Well, even to the point where his sons, uh, so Jack was named by his mom, but his brothers, yeah. Stryker and Gunner, who were named yeah. by Coach, they all call their dad Coach. Yeah. And Jack's mom has been dead about a year at yeah. this point. Coming up on the anniversary. And Ellie's mom is overcompensating for the fact that the dad walked out and she's become very like overprotective and always like trying to like do everything for her daughter. Yeah. Jack's older brothers are also kind of, like, within this mold as the grossest boys possible from, like, Zapped, where they also bully their brother, but they, like, fart on him Yeah, they, the they talk about doing, like, loogie things and, like, fart bomb things. I, yeah. And especially they're focused early on in the movie on Jack's hair, which is... Really long. Pretty well, obviously a wig. A wig, yeah. You said somebody had made There was a, a very comment. dumb IMDb trivia being, like, when he cuts his hair, he looks like his character from Kirby Buckets. It's like, well, yeah, it's because they just had him in a wig. And he was probably filming Kirby Buckets around the same time. Yeah. But I really thought his hair made him look like Tobias in Arrested Development <laughs> in the later part of season three. When I don't he remember. Has his hair plugs. Oh. And they, they, like, are killing him. And what he, like, hell? tells George Michael to call him, like, Teabag or whatever. Oh, I, I don't remember that at all. I'm not going to call him Teabag. Good stuff. Good stuff. As they're trying to, I don't know, they're just wrestling with him. They break his smartphone. Yeah. And he receives his dead mom's phone. Pink phone, which is all sparkalized, kind of uh, bedazzled, if yeah. you will. It's kind of it's pink. just a joke here, but it doesn't ever really matter that it looks like that. It's just for us to 
put together before the characters just spell out, it says dead mom's phone. And and the phone still has service because Coach, the dad, this would never <laughs> turn it off because you just couldn't This movie's very, like, admit. hey, family plans. They cover all their bases, though. Like, they're covering their... So, like, I mean, some people like, why would this phone work? Wouldn't it... Why would it have service? Well, they just explain it. They, they're covering all their bases. It's all about... The, they're in the fave five. It's all about the base. Cover bases. No. No bueno. <laughs> This movie's main stylistic contribution is that it has very obnoxious text overlays that yeah. pop up as characters are texting at each other. Yeah. And we first get that, and it's primarily just to be like kids and their phones, right? Because two people are like walking next to each other and they're texting each other instead of talking. Yes. Uh, but we get some people, times. like we see one character named Ryan who is texting. It's seemingly himself because it pops up. It shows up a picture and of himself. Like you were saying, they do goof up. Sometimes they'll show kids are reading messages. They'll show who they're getting it from. But other times like, as they're typing the message, it shows that it's coming Not that from I need them. to explain how phones work. But when I text Jacob, at the top of my phone, it doesn't say Lucas, Lucas Melby. Melby. It says Jacob Teledijon. Yeah. But here, it'll sometimes be accurate to like the person, you know, what the phone screen would look like. But other times it's more just a view of this character yeah it's, it's so it looks poor. like ryan's texting himself being like the new girl aspen so fucking hot yes so yeah speaking of aspen we were a little lighter on ellie's drama so it's not just that her dad has walked out on her it's that there's a new cool girl at school aspen really crazy names with these two characters aspen has turned her friend sassy <laughs> kind of against ellie and Ellie is kind of jealous and feels on the outs. Yeah, Everybody they, in this group is on the rhythmic gymnastics. They met team. at some summer camp or something, and she moved into the area. And, and yeah, but like those two had been friends since kindergarten, you know, or forever. They've been friends. And the sports stakes for her is that her club, the gymnastics club, might get cut. Yeah. And they have to beat the badminton team to not yeah. get cut or whatever. Whereas... Jack wants to make the varsity team and there's only one spot left and he's going into like a full weekend of tryouts and all that stuff. Yeah. Essentially, crap happens where Ellie overhears Sassy and Aspen talking shit about her. So she's crying. Meanwhile, Jack gets beat up by his bully Porter and he gets a bloody nose. So both of them go to the nurse's office. Which seems like it's like in like a hallway or it's or like a or library. A, it's just yeah, a very big space. A really big, big room. And the nurse is probably my favorite or second favorite character along with Porter, the bully, who's actually pretty funny. And she talks in this sense. When me and Jacob do weird voices, they usually end up being like New York voices. But yeah. here she's like, hey, fucking take this size. You fucking <laughs> shut your macaroni hole. <laughs> she says that. Shut your macaroni stuff in faces. Yeah, she's yeah, it's like a New, Jer New, New Jersey accent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fucking and kid. she does something similar or she kind of hits home again, like kids on their phones where they're talking to each other. And she's like, shut up, text on your <laughs> phone like a dumb kid. Ain't that what you kids are all about? So then they just start texting each other as they're sitting there. Yeah. And it's stuff like, I mean, we just hear them, their voices reading out the messages, but it's like, girls got it easy. No, boys got it easy. I wish my life was better. And I think they literally text that. So... Jacob, do you want to explain the whole totem situation? Because it was kind of explained before earlier this. in the film. Yeah, the mother, the mother ha like has all this weird stuff about like chi and energy and stuff like that. She parked the car in the driveway, not like a normally, you know, like you would like sideways. So then she's like, "Well, with your phone, it's kind of the same thing." So her, her Ellie has her dad's old flip yes. phone, and and and, and, then, and she's not letting go of it because her dad walked out of them. And it's all she has of him. So that's her totem. And then Jack has the totem because it's his mother's phone. And there's a, it, it's all about like emotion and they stuff. They put and a lot of energy into to these it. devices. Yeah. So when they text, I wish we could switch lives or whatever. It was it like a big explosion happens. of energy. Yes. So we see like a lot of is it a lot of purple and green? It's blue, blue, and pink. blue and pink, blue and pink ish. Mixing you know, girl into and purple. boy stuff. Yeah. So they're they're mixing up, and I don't know. It was it wasn't the worst uh, effect. I missed the totem talk, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> it's just like, hey, yo, shut your macaroni hole, and then beep, boop, 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 or you, ah! 
I'm yeah. like, oh, 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 sorry. Jacob's like, no, there was a totem. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that makes total and, and, sense. And, and then they, they do kind of explain the totem thing they here. They do a cutaway to, like, before, black and white vision now. The mom talking about the totem. Your dad's phone could be your totem. What is this, Inception? Yeah, I, it was, I mean, like, sure, they had to find some way to switch. That's how they explained it. Um, and, and then we get a little bit of, like, classic swap them you know switch bodies like they fly well, apart why like, why am i what? so grimy i smelly Ooh. they don't do like i'm you you're me no, they, they should have though they should yeah done like, like they don't even yeah they don't do that whole thing like how do we switch bodies they're just kind of like what the heck oh well we need to when we start acting like we're yeah, each other pretty they, they take it pretty good it. in stride all right like okay here's my whole life story and i have varsity tryouts oh here's my whole life story I have a gymnastics competition. My mom's going to pick up. me up in this kind of vehicle. Um, so make sure you get in with her. And my dad's going to pick me up. Make sure you dive into the front window. Yeah. And so then they're kind of like finishing. I think this was kind of towards the end of the school day, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so then they run into Porter the bully. So they kind of. Hey, Porty. Yeah. So Ellie, who. So Jack in Ellie's body. It'll be very confusing for us to. <laughs> yeah pass on what's happening in all these jack's and ellie's body ellie's in jack's body so he and also jack can't talk to girls very well yeah uh, but he like can us. talk to porter because now he feels kind of empowered because he's not himself talking to porter so he kind of tells him hey, off a bit Porty. and then porter's kind of like "Ooh, who are you and then she calls you're, him, you're like, such a firecracker calls him porty and they like set up a date to get donuts the next day and the reason he's setting up the date is because porty has a video of jack trying to fight him and if the coach, Jack's dad, were to see the video, he would get in trouble and just not make it varsity. It was really weird because it was more like a video of him after Porter beat him up. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, are you just like incriminating yourself? But, yeah. you know, maybe within the hockey world, you shouldn't ever get beat up or you're, you should be or the you're one weak. beating Or you're weak. You're weakling. Up. Then they run into Sassy and Sassy is Ellie's friend, but she likes Jack. So she's talking to Jack now and Jack is ellie in the situation so she's trying to feel that and then sassy is misinterpreting that ellie who's jack <laughs> it's it's very is, confusing you know getting with jack who's ellie but yeah all that kind of misunderstanding and then they get picked up by their parents and yes. they gotta like one of them gets picked up by his brother so then they got the Jack, like, always has to dive through the window of the truck. He can't open the door. Because... So he does that to Ellie's mom's vehicle. Because he's, like, abused by his family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and he does it in... Uh, and then, so Ellie, in Jack's body, dives into the brother's vehicle. And then the brother makes a comment, like, what, he got new legs? Trying out those new legs for the first time. And then Ellie gets dropped off at the gymnastics practice. And this movie actually ends up going further than I thought it would. But to start, Jack is so embarrassed to be in the girl's body and he doesn't want to like do anything creepy. So he has a leotard, but he just puts it on over her like tracksuit clothes already. Whatever works. And then he goes out and he's like super awkward and he doesn't know what he's doing. And people are like, wow, what a bitch. (laughs) Because all the girls on the team are being like turned against her by Aspen. Yeah. Yes. Aspen. (laughs) Aspen. And then while Jack, who is Ellie in this situation, is being driven home by his brother, Gunner, Gunner. he asks if they can chop the saddle later tonight, which I thought, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought know, it was sexual. Yeah, some like gross <laughs> sex acts kind of thing. So what the salad is, is referring to his mop of hair, his wig. So they're like, long, far- he gets hair. home and they pull out the scissors. Start farting on each other, you know. <laughs> I, I don't even think that's like a joke. I think in this scene, actually, they do kind of fart. Yeah, uh, they, they get a scissors and then we don't, we hear them, I think, maybe yell. And then and they then cut away. We don't, like, we don't, oh, thank God, the wig's gone. Yeah, a little pretty silly. You kind of have to have stakes beyond just like they need to fill in. Because this is also some stuff that we kind of had in Invisible Sister where like you got to pretend to be somebody you're not. But then they established the ticking clock that the family plan is getting changed so that the old flip phone is no longer going to be in service. And since that's Ellie's totem, that means they got to sort stuff out before Sunday. And it's Friday right now. It's a freaky Friday. Yeah. Uh, Later on, it's revealed that it's not her mom who is shutting down that phone. It's 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 actually her dad. Yeah. And that'll be something she has to wrestle with because her dad 
does not get redeemed at all. He's just a no, bad dad. he's just a bad dad. He, at least to Ellie. Maybe he's better to his second family. Probably, because he's he wants to get on their family plan. I think that's what they say. He wants to get on a new family plan. Yeah. And um, her mom is a nice mom who yeah. oh, is yeah. willing to be the bad guy in this situation to cover for the bad dad because she recognizes that Ellie, it's better for her to at least have some good image of her dad. And Jack's dad, you know, acts like an asshole. But, you know, deep down, you know, he's lost his wife. He's gone through a lot. You know. And as I was just saying, I didn't think Disney Channel was going to go to some of like the... We talked about your name a little bit ago, yeah. and that's about a boy and a girl switching bodies, and the boy immediately like cops a feel on himself. Yeah. Or Jacob's favorite Scooby Doo. <laughs> oh yeah. Fred switches Fred with uh, Daphne. 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 Ooh, I'm hot. And, well, you know, and, like, and it's in his chest. Shaggy. I think it's Shaggy that's doing that. Yeah, something. You know, I've watched that movie probably all, more recently than Jacob and uh, all of their bodies. All of their bodies. Yes, they, they all switch with one another several times when they're in the kitchen with those weird bubbly heads. So they kind of go to a weird <laughs> place where Bubble Ellie. Baths? Well, that's less weird than Ellie and Jack and Ellie's body has to go oh, to a physical, physical <laughs> for a sports physical. For <laughs> so her. he does. She does. They do. Um, use like a uh, basically mask. blindfold themselves. Yeah. It, so they don't see their breasts. But then she takes a bubble bath later on. And then Jack takes a shower of some kind. Yeah. So, I mean, it has to happen. Like, it wouldn't be believable if they didn't. That really... I just didn't think Disney Channel would kind of, like, draw attention to When it. she does bath. When she, she does, does bath. When she does I don't know, bathe, mother. I am bathe. going to bath. <laughs> when she does bathe, she does have a swimsuit on you know we're an audio only podcast we don't have an olfactory <laughs> lucas is, is da, 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 da. J- jacob stanky that's why he doesn't no. know that bathe is how to say he's like yes i bath all the time bath so, um, that was mean that was a low blow so anyways what was i gonna say so she does have her her it's like swimsuit bath. on oh she does yeah so a lot of this th- was happening a lot this of the wasn't time just me going to the bathroom of the situation uh we got a crazy torrential downpour in minnesota today yeah. so i was attending to water coming into our basement while we were watching the movie so i missed you know the really spicy moments apparently so yes so, so jacob was dialed in and catching all the stuff i was missing. along most of the time she's in the bath they don't really kind of show she's in the whatever the swimsuit oh, they but don't, i mean they don't show full front which for ins- her. which still implies that, that he she had to get into the swimsuit but what's funny when when jack gets out he has the towel wrapped up in his head, you know, like, a, um, I guess a girl normally would. I, I guess I don't do that. I, I think Lucas has done that before, once or twice. I think I've, like, I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like I've seen you with, like, a towel wrapped around your head before. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were just talking about, like, his towel was higher up to, like, yeah, and not that cup too. show nips yes, or whatever. that also. So they had the towel higher and then a you towel know, on the head, which I'll, the brothers... I'll take it. I got Jacob better. <laughs> but the towel they take off and they start whipping him on the butt with it. His brothers. Yeah, start whipping the the boy, but it's the girl. So I yeah, yeah little... I mean, I don't know if we've talked about it, because obviously I wasn't really in any sports in high school, but just in, like, gym class alone in, like, ninth and 10th grade when you were, like, for swimming or whatever, where you, like, really had to, like, go to the locker room and change. There's definitely uh, levels of homoeroticism between Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just kids being kids, man. Yeah, okay. That's one way to put it's it. Just kids being silly kids kids man so yeah you know it got a little got a little uh raunchier than i thought but apparently it was even still a little that'd be a little tasteful. bit more than homoeroticism that'd be like um incest incestual oh with the the brothers yes yes, yes. you know this movie's maybe checking a lot of different boxes we got gender <laughs> swapping we got <laughs> that stuff body swapping you yeah know? maybe something, check some fan fiction out online something for, for uh, everyone Somewhere along the line, they're communicating with each other, and they decide that to be able to switch back bodies, they must need to improve their lives. Yeah, so they they think of all these different things. One of the ways I think they think they can improve it is if they get, like, a new phone plan or something. No, I kind of missed that. Yeah, they're they're just kind of, like, brainstorming the just different ways that they could help each other improve their lives. Because that kind of comes up, or maybe it's unrelated. Uh, There's kind of crisscrossing narratives between them that are usually kind of just goofy and i probably will miss some of the details but one thing i won't miss is that's mom's closet yeah 
So at he the accidentally opens up mom's closet because he thought maybe it was like the out. Well, there is generally I think Peyton List is better at like representing that there's somebody else in her body than Jacob Bertrand. Yeah. Uh, but he has some funny line reads where he opens his door and his brothers are like, that's what are you doing going in there? That's mom's closet. And he shuts it and he's like, oh, yes, of course I would know this is mom's closet and not <laughs> the door to go outside that I was accidentally opening. Yeah. And it's a little weird, but it's purposely weird that it's basically this house of all men who don't know how to deal with their emotions and face the loss of their mother or wife. And they've just put all of her stuff in somewhat of a shrine, but somewhat unceremoniously just stuffed into this closet. Yeah. And opposite of that is Ellie, Jack and Ellie's body, has a spa date with the mom. And they go and he gets his legs waxed and he doesn't enjoy that. Like he's having a he, she, he's having a good time. You know, like, oh, this is so relaxing. I've never felt so relaxed. And then, like, is this part of the relaxation thing? Is it getting, you know, getting a wax? This is even nice. I like this. And then it just starts ripping it off and then screams. But then, uh, what's her name? Um, Aspen, Aspen is there. She's getting her hair colored, but. By somebody French. And she's like, oh my God, I'm going to go to a French party tonight. And she's like, oh my God, you're so French. This yes, is going to be great. a Paris themed party at Claire's house. So then Jack, who's in Ellie's body, goes in there and pretends to be the whatever the the, the hairdresser she, her, she has like goggles on yeah to cover can't her. see like, oh hello there i'm just gonna do this with your hair and, and like has like a brush and i guess all the stuff that she's like that's it, it's all sitting there it's not like jack's grabbing all this stuff it's all there to be put so, yeah, on her head later on spoiler we see that her hair is like red green and blue yeah so i don't know why this lady was preparing these dyes right next yeah. to somebody she wasn't going to dye those colors yeah i don't i don't know uh yeah, that kind of silly moment. Just I a guess. way to get back at the bully, the new girl bully, yeah. more or less. I think we should try to come up with. Well, which one do we want to call Jelly? Is that Jack and Ellie's body, or is that Ellie and Jack's body? It starts with the J. It has to be Jack and, and Ellie. And the other one is Yak. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we won't do that. Yeah. Uh, so I, I like Jelly. So I, Jack I'd ship it. meets up with Porter, the bully. Porty. At the donut shop. Hey, party. And he's like, why aren't you the girl? And he's like, hey, I'm just trying to, like, sort out, like, I should be on the hockey team. And I don't know if you're really into hockey that much or I don't know. Basically, he discovers that actually Porter's passion is for science. So he takes him to the science class or club that's meeting STEM. on Saturday. Some, some STEM stuff, yeah. Uh, and then there's a girl there that's Ellie's friend that she's talking to in Jack's body, and that girl seems to like Jack. Y- well, y- yes. She likes Jack, but then Ellie's also realizing that this girl is like actually like a good person. Friend that she's maybe neglected. Yes, and she's like, oh, I, you know, I, I wish we would have, you know, did a lot more stuff together. I, you know, we need Sassy's to do this more often. total <laughs> Dude, for reals. So Porter's life gets solved in a way very similar to the bully and the other me, where this becomes kind of a funny joke character. And he also has some funny line reads. But... Like, he comes back, though, too. Like, he'll come back and he, like... No, he's a total... He's he's a classic anime villain character who becomes a friend for the main... Like, role. helps uh, uh, Skyline? What's the... um Glide? I can't think of the word. He, he shoots, like, a, a thing up against oh, Jack's... I'm not even going to fucking talk ...wall about and... Helps him escape his howl. Like, like, but Let's when, talk uh, about the Paris part. Oh, I, I love party. Uh, there's a simultaneous girls-only party at yes. Claire's house that's Paris-themed. Meanwhile, there's a boys-only game night. So Aspen's wearing a beret at the French party. To cover up that her hair's all fucked up. Yes. And then her and Sassy start bullying some pictures some girls There's like a posted. photo booth station. Yeah, and they, they start editing him and making him fat just, heads. Yeah, everybody blows up their heads and they say like, "Let's blow this party." And then like, <laughs> like makes Claire, who I think maybe it's a birthday party, like yeah. have a really long tongue and like cover up her like <laughs> cake or whatever. It's really really dumb, but for like the reaction for Ellie to be like, "Hey, you're being like a total fucking bitch right Dude, now." Dude, for real. And they're like, "Well, maybe it's because this party sucks ass." <laughs> Fuck you, Ellie. I thought the party actually looked pretty cool. Uh, they had, actually they were, had like a lot of good food and colors and lights and decorations. And Ellie, so Jack and Ellie's body yes. meets up with that science friend. Yeah, they're kind of hitting it off and reconnecting again. 
And then she's like, oh, let's go dance. But it's a dance of all girls again. And then <laughs> Ellie like or Jack and Ellie's body boxing? starts like fitness boxing. <laughs> and everybody's like, it's, you know, the best uh, weird dance led by the main character since Smart House. <laughs> it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. But then, yeah, there's a blow up between Sassy and Ellie. Meanwhile, at the boys' side, they're talking about girls. Jack brings Porty because Porty kind of like, he was trying to like tell Jack, oh, you know, I always have plans with friends, you know, but I, you know, they're not around. And he's like, okay, Porty, just come on. But I don't know how you're going to be treated because you're, you know, this guy's usually like a bully, I guess. But when he yeah, gets there, see, it's, it could have been cool. a situation like when I tried to uh, introduce or bring Jacob into the fold of my friend group oh. that existed at the separate lunch table than his. And Sam did not <laughs> like him and <laughs> arguably still doesn't like him that much. The feeling's but, mutual. Uh, Jack's friends. Very accepting and welcoming to... Yeah, they're like, oh, did you, did you bring Porty? Oh, that's okay, man. Come get some pizza. So, yeah, it's it's cool. Uh, but then they're talking about girls, and they're like, hey, Jack. So Sassy fucking... is totally into you, but you are so bad at talking to girls. And Ellie's like, what? I'm such a cool boy. You're telling me I can't talk to girls? And they're yeah. like, yeah. And then, I don't know, something happens where both parties come and meet each other. Yes, like because <laughs> so Jack and Ellie's body told everybody because they were getting mad at um Sassy and Aspen. They, they were starting to have like a I don't oh know, yeah because it was getting mad at each other and like they were Jack is my bae, basically. So yeah. there was a mass text message out. That says, uh, Ellie just said that Jack is her bae, and they all go to like gotcha, the park gotcha. or something because Sassy was accusing Ellie of getting with Jack, and she's like, "Well, maybe I am." Yeah, and then they meet up there, and Ellie, Jack, and Ellie's body tells. Ellie and Jack's body, you have to kiss me. Otherwise, you're going to be a liar. And she's just like, why did you take my hair out of a ponytail? No, this is awful. You're supposed to make up with my friend, not make her mad at me. <laughs> and this is, you know, super drama time. Ellie and Jack's body starts to cry right as her dad or his, his dad, dad pulls up in the truck because he snuck out thanks to Porter. And yeah. he's like, boys, don't fucking cry. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty intense. But in classic Disney Channel fashion, we we did. Get, did you say the hair reveal? Well, I kind of just skipped to it. It's yeah. She pulls off the hat, and it's blue, green, and and, and then like her new best friend. Uh, I, I can't. She remember says her it's name. freaky. Well, yes, but then her new best friend's like, I've never seen you do something like that again. I kind of like that. I love this energy you bring. Oh, her taking the hat off. Yeah, not sassy being like, that's a good. Those are good <laughs> colors on you. I've never no. seen you do anything like this. No. Aspen also has coined the phrase. Trumor, which is a rumor that is true. True. And she says it at least two times. So it wouldn't be no longer a rumor because it would be a fact. That's kind of what I was thinking, but... Whatevs. uh, Then there's an emotional montage to solve this all up within, like, a sequence. Jack gets home. He's laying on his bed. And then he goes and takes... Has, like, a monkey. And he takes... Well, he takes stuff out of his mom's closet. Yes. And then his dad sees. He's like, oh, you took some stuff out of the closet. But he's still like, but stop crying. And then, so then the brothers come in and they give give him a note of like stuff he wanted to accomplish in his life. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like them. They are so bad at communicating their <laughs> they feelings write a note. that they could only write him a note. But it was something that his mom kept, where he's like, "I'm gonna make varsity. I'm gonna and then be I'm an gonna, NHL. And then I'm gonna buy my mom a house or something. Yeah, because my dad sucks and she should definitely divorce." <laughs> so then it was it was signed. By the mother, like, you know, You're witnessed by... by Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> witnessed by mommy. Yep. The dad's like, get that shit notarized. Otherwise, <laughs> you're going to slack off and not become one in the NHL. Yeah, it was, it was you know, emotional. And then Jack and Ellie's body sees that she's got a bunch of pictures on a digital picture frame cycling through of her and Sassy when they were younger in gymnastics, as well as pictures of... Her deadbeat dad showing yeah. up at gymnastics when she was younger. And then they text each other and they're like, hey, let's like, let's try to make each other's lives actually better and like get this sorted out. We're friends, right? Yeah. Cool. They come up with the plan that they are going to practice each of their sporting techniques because their bodies should have the muscle memory it's just about the mental game to yeah. unlock their abilities, which is something Jacob is saying. He's yeah. like, why couldn't he just do rhythm gymnastics? Because his body's used to doing it. And yeah. I said, Jacob, oh, you sweet summer <laughs> child. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so they reveal. But if the movie writes the rules that way, then, yeah, that's the answer. 
So they reveal this information to Jack's friend. Owen, who this is the first time we've mentioned him in this movie. And we do see him a few times. He doesn't even... Time. He's, he's, he's at the party. Yeah, he's just a bro. He thinks Ellie's really hot. He actually is probably going to hook up with Ellie at the end of the movie. True. But really, yeah, he just is like a friend. Otherwise, yeah. it, he doesn't even serve like a plot contrivance. Because they Not could really. easily have just like contrived some way for them to get into the gym. Like they didn't need yeah. to like meet up with this guy. But yeah. he's got a key because he's like the hockey team manager. Uh, and all the sports are in like this sports plex. Sports, 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 sports. So... She's helping him learn how to do rhythm gymnastics in, you know, the different bodies and hockey. You know, it's all it's all cool. It's all cool. Yeah, that's cool. So then it's coming down to the big game day, which is Sunday, which is the big event for Ellie, Jack and Ellie's body, because this is going to be the meat that they need to really do good at to show that their team is good enough to not be cut. Yes. And the badminton team should be cut. And then it's the last day of this multi-day long varsity tryout. So it's a scrimmage game where Jack will be playing and needing to find that last seat on the hockey team. It is also a special ceremony day to dedicate a seat in the arena to Jack's dead mom. And the seat says, number one hockey mom in heaven, or heaven's number one hockey mom. Yes. But Jack, who is in Ellie's body, does not go to the ceremony because he's like... I'm too focused. Or he to just, just, he's just like, no, I don't want to go. My I'm, mom's dead. Yeah. I, I can't I, deal with this. That was kind of weird, I guess. Put her but, in the closet. Yeah, it was, that was kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, both succeed in their respective events. Uh, Jack, Ellie, and Jack's body scores a goal. Jack and Ellie simultaneously in their different bodies either throw up a hockey stick or throw up their ribbon thing and yeah. catch it, and it's split screened and dramatic. Whatever. What else? This movie's quickly wrapping up, but still lasts a bit longer than I thought it was going to. <laughs> so then they meet back up. It's like, shit, our lives are so good, right? And they text each other, wish I had my life back. But then it says fail. Fail. They, they try it several times and it doesn't work. And this is where it's revealed to Jack or Ellie and Jack's body that it's not your mom's fault this plan's being canceled. It's your dad. He wanted a new family plan. Yeah. Which I just think is so funny. It's sad. <laughs> the family plan. Yeah. Then the... I'm kind of glossing over because I think maybe I was cleaning up some water, water here or something. But there's family drama, but they kind of deal with their own personal family drama yeah. through the other person's parents. So Jack in Ellie's body is like, I miss my mom so much. And then Ellie's right mom's here. like, I'm right I'll here, I'll always bitch. be right here, even if I'm not with you. I'll be in your heart, you know, kind of thing. I got banana thing. bread for you. <laughs> and then uh, Ellie lays into Jack's dad and Jack's body to be like, I need my dad here for me. You're a piece of shit. And he's like, you only made varsity because everybody else sucks. True. You're being elevated by bad people. And don't worry. It's all going to be happy in the end. Everything's always happy. We're always, always happy here. I'm they, older, but. they seem to have, like, found closure for their own personal issues, so they come back to a bridge together, and then they text each other again, but this time they also add, everything is so much better now, and then... <laughs> <laughs> it's all better they now. They switch bodies back, yeah. and it works. Uh, they meet back up with their parents. The helicopter mom says, like, hey, Ellie, I'll give you some space. I won't, like... I guess she was, like, buckling her seatbelt for ellie like she wouldn't even let her do that i'm like yeah. Yeah, this this lady's kind of cray <laughs> and then jack goes home and he's like ah oh, shit stinks in here i love it so stinky <laughs> and then his you brothers are like parts. you cool and he's like yeah brah we fr- Pom, almost forgot Pom a bro man get <laughs> one bro time his brothers call him bro granite juice <laughs> i'm just gonna leave that there <laughs> oh but then his dad comes in and at first he just Enters from the corner in a very, like, villainous uh, entrance. He's like, Jack! <laughs> coach! I mean, Dad. I mean, no, Coach. He's like, no, call me Dad. Call me Dad. Francis. Call what me you said Francis. earlier. I don't know what I said, Dad. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, it's okay, son of mine. You know, stop being a dick. I thought when your mom died, <laughs> she definitely needed me to be a dick to you. That uh, That's very clear. But no, I'll stop being a dick. <laughs> and then we check back with all the kids at school. There's a cavalcade of texts. Yeah. Owen being like, I'm going to get with Ellie. Claire talking about pictures from her Paris party that had become 
memes. Memes. Dank memes. In 2016, we get our first mention of specifically memes. That's pretty wild. In a decom. Eight, and these seven memes years ago. are apparently going viral in, in France. France. Wow. Ellie and Jack, I think, text each other. I think at this point they both have new phones, maybe. And well, yeah, they're no longer on the family plan, and the mother's dead phone you so know, probably expired. Ellie should be getting with Owen. Jack should be getting with that science girl. Yeah. But what about mom and dad? Well, we've, they get together too. We've many times joked, and I almost even joked in this time, being like, "Now the parents got to hook up." Yeah. But here, it's hinted at that it's like, "Hey, mom, this is coach. I mean, dad. I mean, whatever." And the dad's really awkward, just like his son. And it's like, oh, maybe we could help them out. And they're like, no. But it's like, why did you introduce them if you don't want them to fuck? I mean, this is movie logic. Yeah, they, they have to they, now. They, they, and then they start texting each other. Why is my dad so bad at talking to women? I wish we could help them. And then they have to delete, yeah, delete all the messages because they didn't want that to go through the wishes thing, the totem thing. But it was funny because their texts are always read out loud by them. So then there's just be yeah. them being like, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> and it was like Matt Hardy saying delete. Oh. And that was the, the swap. swap. The swapper. That was the a, swap. That was the video game I played. Oh. Uh, the game wasn't the, the, great, but the, still the better movie than does, this movie. The movie does end with some kind of bloopers or ad lib kind yeah, of Yeah, I don't scenes. think they're even bloopers. They're just extra, extra takes of scenes, scenes or cut dialogue. Yeah. We're, the we're, first one is from Porter. I'm like, oh, this is good stuff. And I Porter's thought they were good. all going to be Porter, but they weren't. Mm, they should have been. One was the, the coach, the ribbon coach. Well, we didn't even mention that there was even a coach on that team. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. She was uh. a bad character. I I don't think this movie is very good. Not the worst decom we've ever had, but it's so you as soon as like you hear it's like a body swap movie, you see the basic setup for these characters. It's pretty clear like how everything's going. Yeah, you, you know what's coming, but I I, I didn't. So hate it did it. get a little racier than I was maybe expecting. Yeah, Lucas was was having a little doubt in the movies. Like it's a decom. They're not going to get. Oh my! Wow. Jacob and Jacob's like, no, I need this. I believe <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be implied that they're seeing the she's other person getting, naked. She's getting a physical. But it was ninety minutes, so yeah. you know we like that. Less than ninety. It was like eighty six, man. Well, okay. Well, you know, I round up. But next week, who? Oh no! I'm very excited for next week. Zambies? No. Oh. Next week will be Tangled Before Ever After, which is apparently more of a pilot episode for the Tangled animated series, still classified as the Disney Channel original movie. Huh. It's fifty to sixty minutes long. Oh. Which will line up perfectly because it'll be a weekend where I'll probably just want to be playing the new Legend of Zelda game. So I'll be perfectly fine to have it be. The shortest episode, not caused by us not wanting to talk about Tiger Cruise. Well, maybe I'll have to do my best to uh, lengthen it. Well, then you can edit the episode. (laughs) What are your final thoughts on this movie, Jacob? I I, I didn't hate it. I I thought there was some of the... uh, Jacob didn't watch the fucking majority of this movie. movie. He was on his phone more so than any other movie we watched. I I watched the movie. I I got... He paid more attention to Phineas and Ferb, and he (laughs) fell asleep in that movie. (laughs) No, I, I I enjoyed it. I like you said, it was kind of weird that they did this movie and then the Freaky Friday one two years later. Maybe they didn't know they would get like the rights to that name. Oh, no, the original, all the Freaky Fridays, I'm pretty sure, are Disney productions. Oh, the Lindsay yeah, Lohan true. one, yeah, yeah, the yeah. one that Li- yeah, the Lindsay Lohan really, movie is remaking, the really old old one, the Shaggy Dog. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I I so I don't know. I mean, like this is like the the book, whatever this is based on, it's just a clear rip off of that whole. Well, I, I mean. Again, there's a billion body swaps. Though. That's I mean, true. Especially if you get into the anime world. Oh, yeah. Especially after your name, it's like, I swap bodies into a magical girl in a magical world, but I, in real life, I'm a fat piece of shit. I don't watch oh. shows like that. Sounds like you do. No, I, there's just <laughs> a billion isekai shows, and they all just seem fucking terrible. I didn't think it was bad. Oh, I, I anticipated <laughs> Jacob saying that, and I'm like, oh. Not, not, in my, not in my bottom 20. Like, I came, I'm like freaking wringing out wet towels, and Jacob's like, I think you should probably rewind this, because there was some stuff here. I'm like, bitch, you fucking watched the movie. <laughs> You're supposed to cover it. Like, I, you think I need to get every detail? You were in the room watching this movie. You're, you're just the, the, bad, the better recapper. You're just the best. Right into the pod, the whole new pod at gmail.com. Is Lucas the best? No, I'm not that full of myself. That's I mean, okay. I, I, it's not a fucking stiff competition. Well, but first question, should Jacob do a recap? Second question, what is the only movie that Jacob was... 
technically the lead recap <laughs> trivia yeah you got to go back in time and catch that one so that is a whole new pod at gmail.com flatter well awm pod how about let's do never remember first okay could these body swapping teens have stopped 9-11 if they have the wish they could make a wish and they could swap into the terrorist bodies that's it- what i was gonna say am i my the twist I'd put on it is, what if they body swapped into an Al-Qaeda member's body? <laughs> Al-Qaeda member's like, oh no, this, <laughs> this woman's not wearing a burka. <laughs> a burka. <laughs> so the, uh, but then disgust- the kids would crash the planes. Uh, or if the terrorist, he loves American culture and capitalism so oh. much living in it that then he swaps back. And, wow. I mean, again, it's one of those times where they only stop one plane. They can't, we can't or ever two stop planes. all the planes. Two planes. Well, but if it's only, this is a situation where I, we can't have a freaking triangle swap. The two pilots. <laughs> Ooh, we got some lightning or thunder and lightning going. Yeah, we got to speed it up in case the power cuts. <laughs> out uh, but yeah, that's the real Freaky Friday I want. Freaky. Mm, I was trying to think. Is it is Islam? Is it Saturday? I mean, they pray As-salam like every alaykum. day. So, you know, every day is a holy day. Mahalam. Yeah, Jacob, I, I don't think knows what he's saying right now. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, that's may, close. may God be uh, upon you. I'm Peace sure it's you. not perfectly executed. Uh, but let's roll into. I had promised that we have enough soda to last us for at least a couple more. A whole new pops, as long as I don't forget it, which I almost forgot this one. Uh-oh. So this is a follow up in the Coca-Cola creation series. So we had kind of the worst of both worlds. We had Pepsi and peeps last week. This time we just get Coca-Cola, which is always good. Love that. So the previous one we had had on the show was Coca-Cola dream. And this time we have Coca-Cola move, which if you're not sure what that would be flavored, it is a transformation flavored. And this has some connection to Rosalia who is a celebrity of some kind that I don't huh. really know anything about. So, give it a shot. Crack it open, and this, I, I'm anticipating this one being good enough that I won't give the rest of the bottle you're gonna, to Jacob. You're keep this one. It's smell good. I haven't smelled it. Yet. Are you ready to we'll do a sniff? We'll do a sniff, sniff first. What if it's just peeps and flavor? Oh no! A sniff. We'll sniff it. Uh. Uh, it's not immediately enticing. You ready to taste it? Yeah. I don't think I like that. What does it taste like, though? Mm. The f- flavor's kind of familiar. So you kind of got like a... Candle. It tastes like I'm drinking a candle. <laughs> yeah, maybe a vanilla scented candle. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of like a little like maybe like bubblegum aftertaste. Yeah, I but see. No, what you I, mean. I do kind of get the candle. <laughs> you get the candle vibe. It's make me want to move. <laughs> it is I'm weird. I'm going to move. I see the bubblegum now that you said that. You know, a bubblegum like scented candle. I like Coke, so, you know, the baseline, you know, starting with Coke as yeah, a starting point. It's always a good spot to start for me, but not as good as the dream. I'm not going to. I saw this in the store. Like, I bought this probably like a month and a half ago or something at this point. And I'd also seen since then, like, they sell them in, like, the baby cans. I don't know why they sell them in the baby cans, but I'm like, well, I don't need to track down extra bottles or cans of this like i did with the dream no it's 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 maybe okay maybe okay our greatest beverage critic jacob Talajon. this is a magical soda and movie four out of five stars <laughs> it's not bad all right to continue with the rest of the housekeeping jacob was bringing up a little bit ago follow us on twitter awn pod while it's still around i don't know twitter has oh yeah just gotten worse and worse and did you hear the whole mario movie was up there for like six hours people have been uploading all sorts of weird stuff up on twitter for a long time the whole mario movie which isn't on any streamer was on twitter for like half a day and also the john wick movie maybe they just don't have a content moderation avatar was on i've seen people like uploading like wrestling whole wrestling matches and different stuff like that yeah because uh elon like oh like of everybody yeah, no, I, <laughs> there's plenty of other stuff going wrong with the site. This That's just a, a more noticeable one because stuff that would normally get taken down immediately is just up there now. As opposed to being like, oh, this app or this site just doesn't function like it used to because there's probably stuff breaking behind the scenes and nobody's noticing it or able to fix it because 
they're being worked horribly to make weird Doge jokes or whatever. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Doge, because because Elon loves the Doge. But Although anyways, I think that is AWN Pod. While it's still around, we have not gotten an invite to Blue Sky yet. Uh, but maybe how do we get an invite to that? I, I've heard people talk about that. I, don't just, know. I think people who get invited then they can invite somebody after like twelve days or something. But so eventually, a lot of people will be on it. I suppose. I mean, it could be just... something where they just open it all up. But then I've heard some people. Well, then it's not special anymore. And it's like, well, who fucking cares? I don't. Speaking of not caring, uh, maybe care a little bit finding us on Apple Podcasts, Google, Stitcher, Spotify, rating us and reviewing us in places where you can, as well as YouTube.com slash whole new pod. Haven't gotten any comments for a little bit, so maybe maybe I'll use it as an excuse that somehow I had disabled the comments to start uh-huh. on the, the episode 100 video. But otherwise, you know, like, yeah, maybe, yeah. Throw a congratulations our yeah, way to make congrats it to 100 on 100. Or Leave a comment. I don't know, you know, I don't, I'm not putting words in your mouth or anything. Be, show some appreciation. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I may be missing something, but who knows? YouTube, yeah, all the listening, Twitter. So I will take us out with a question prompt. Uh oh. So Jacob, what would be your first thing if you swapped bodies with me? What would happen? Oh no. Well, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be mean. Well, here's what I, I if I was Jacob, it would break my brain somehow and I'd be like, oh, I'm blue, I'm blue. Uh, she comes, she comes, she comes, she comes, she comes, come.